Moles don't necessarily have to become cancerous. Obviously, many people have moles that, that will never turn into skin cancers. Um, there are some moles that can change. So as to why they change, sometimes it can be through uh, sun exposure and um, repeated heavy sun exposure can uh, damage the DNA in the skin cells in the, within the mole and it starts to change over time. And uh, it can progress from uh, what we call an early stage changing mole or a dysplastic nevus to moderate to severe. And uh, the next step from severe is into an early stage melanoma. Sometimes changing moles may stop at one stage, but we have no way of predicting which ones are going to progress to melanomas and which ones are going to stop. So once they start to change, uh, you know, usually they will need some form of further manage management, which in most cases would be removing them um, to reduce the risk of it becoming a melanoma over time. There are actually a lot of melanomas that don't arise from moles. They can just arise completely separately um, to pre-existing moles. And um, particularly someone who has a lot of moles, it can be very difficult sometimes to spot them because they can look very much like a mole in the early stages. So again, that's where the importance of uh, seeing someone who's trained in, in skin cancer and can identify standout lesions um, can make a big difference. There's something called a, a congenital nevus, which um, basically as congenital means you know, you're born with it. It's there as a, as a baby or very early on in life. Um, it's it's uh, there throughout your childhood. These um, can often change as people are growing because uh, like everything grows and changes over time. Um, it is rare for children to have skin cancers, but it can happen. I usually would advise um, parents just to watch moles closely and if they see something that's growing or changing out of proportion with everything else to get it checked at that point. Other moles can just pop up over time and we would see moles um, anywhere, people up to the age of uh, 40 can um, get new moles and you can get new moles later than that but once particularly you're getting new things growing over the age of 40 we become a little bit more suspicious due to the higher risk of melanomas and skin cancers over that age and uh, we, we uh, check those ones out very closely. There's a, certainly a correlation between um, increased numbers of moles and risk for melanoma. So someone who has uh, lots of moles and particularly lots of abnormal looking moles, what we would call a dysplastic nevus, uh, we know that there's a correlation between that and an increased risk for melanoma. And that can be either because they have uh, moles that are, are more likely to change due to genetic reasons, or also that new melanomas can hide very easily in amongst uh, all those moles and be disguised um, more easily. So. Um, certainly someone who has uh, a lot of moles would be advised to have regular skin checks.